and we hit it at the same velocity speed, which is crazy to think about because of the pound difference. In only a week's time, body weight hasn't shifted. It actually might have been lower this week than it was previous. <sighs> What's up, guys? All right. We got a single on deads today. We're four weeks out. We're feeling actually pretty good. But besides that, we got some things I got to show you. We got um more merch coming. So I'm kind of excited. So I, I've already ripped open. I was going to video me like getting my package from the manufacturer and open it. But I just couldn't wait. So I'm sorry you guys didn't get to witness my full reaction. But we have, we have stringers that we're going to be doing. All right, train at your own pace. We got oversized tees. Ain't that sweet? So we got this and we got it in blue. So I'll show you. Look at that bad boy. And we also have it in tan. I'm still debating if I'm gonna be ordering all those colorways or if I'm just gonna go with one colorway and then if that drop does, do does good, I'll open it into like, let's say the blues or, or the, you know, the cream tone type one. But, dude, merch is getting, I'm making, I'm make, I, I spent a lot of time on it. Plus we have the 800 series hoodies that uh, is gonna be coming soon. So guys, it's gonna be coming good, okay? So I've been just trying to figure out the sizings on this because I, I ordered for my sample sizes all the way from small to uh, XL. I'll show you, this is a medium on me, but I like to have my stringers tight, all right? So, you got the oversized T. This is the back, by the way. I have it just a blank front because I didn't really want to put any like logo on the front because I think it's just sweet to have just a, a blank front, but then on the back, that's what people are seeing, you know? This is the gym fit for today. We got our rise leggings, because we have deadlifts today. We're gonna smoke a single. I'm gonna take some pre-workout for a little bit, get up in the mood. It's all right. We also have a belt squat coming, so that's gonna be another video in, in the way. We have so much things. We also might be making our own gym soon, but you know, please God. Let's hope it, well, let's hope we win. If not, big sad.
That was weak. That was weak. All right, there we go. What's up, guys? So we just finished up our workout, and I thought this would be a perfect time to go over a little uh, what's in my gym bag uh, little video. Because a lot of you guys don't know what to pack for your gym. So we're just going to kind of go over what I typically have in my gym bag. So we're just gonna go, to go over it piece by piece and uh, pick out what we need. So first thing is I got my toastums. I always try to bring food with me when I go to the gym. So something that's kind of like a simple carb. So I always pick these over pop tarts because they're more calories, they're cheaper, and I just find them more tasty. We got frosted cherry right here. All right, so the second thing is headphones. So I always try to bring a pair of headphones. I can't usually train without headphones because I just like to drown out the noise when I'm training, whether that's there's music playing on in the gym or if there's just people here. I like to just be in silence and only be focused with my music. You know, I don't like any distractions while I'm training. Which also comes to my other thing. I also bring a second pair of headphones usually just because either those will die and those take you as uh, US type C and then you just take like a standard Android charger. But also, you know, you never know. I might forget those at home and you need backup. So I always bring up a, a backup pair of headphones because it's smart. My next thing is, you know, my deadlift slippers. A lot of people use notorious lifts. I have these like knockoff ones called the Max 2s. They're the same things, you know, they're just cheaper. So deadlift slippers for my deadlift days, I always have to have these. Um, you guys already know, gym belt, I have an SPD right here. This is an adjustable lever belt for you guys who don't know. So you have, you know, a standard prong uh, lever, and then there's an adjustable lever, which is about the, the trinity. My next thing we have are some, you know, deadlift straps, lifting straps. I only use this when I have volume work on deads, nothing else. I only pull hook, oh, I can't even. I only pull hook grip for my singles. Everything else I use straps. Not because I have a grip issue, it's due to, you know, I don't want to tear a callus. You know, if I tear my hands, then that makes it where my singles don't go good, you know. I see too many people in the whole powerlifting fitness realm who rely too much on straps, and then as soon as you take them off, they can't pull near as much uh, for a single on deads, which I think is kind of stupid. So don't be pulling singles with straps all right, it just, I, I think it's just stupid, unless you just ripped your hands. Come on, either use mix or, or, you know, hook grip. All right, next thing is, we got my Voodoo Floss Bands. So if you guys don't know what these are, they are a magic band for when you have tight ankles, tight hips, tight shoulders, uh, elbows, like this thing will get the job done. What you do is you roll these things up, like this and when you have it like a ball and a ball like this you can put it in wherever i usually use these on my hips or my adductors for when i'm about to squat or deadlift because i do get some tight uh, uh you know tightness in here and these just work amazing also if my squats feeling a little weird if i've been in the car all day also put on my ankles to have a little bit of better uh ankle mobility and if i'm not using them for you know their intended purpose I tie them up like this and I put them on my bench when I'm bench pressing because I am on the comp bench. The comp bench I am using is super, super slippery. So these work amazing to stick to the bench. Next thing is my wallet. You know, when I'm driving to the gym, if I'm coming back, I might need milk, might need to pick up some eggs. So I always try to bring my wallet with me. So, you know, smart. All right, my next thing is mouth guard. A lot of people ask me, why do I use a mouth guard? And Personally, for me, there's two reasons. One, I noticed a big difference where if I didn't have a mouth guard, my teeth would be irritated the next few days when I'm getting up to like, let's say singles. So like singles on squat, bench, or deadlift because I'm constantly clenching down because I'm trying to stay as tight as possible. So the next day, my teeth would just be hurting or I'd go to bed. I don't want to have, you know, bad teeth. I've been blessed with, you know, not having to have braces, so I might as well take care of them. Also, the next thing, Brian, this is the brand of Brian Shaw, and he was on Shark Tank and he did a, a, a little thing where you're able to get more strength output 
when you have something to clench on. I don't know how uh, you know scientific that is, but might as well might as well uh, use it, you know. All right. So the next thing is a warm-up band because I am a power lifter. My joints do get stiff and sore and whatnot. I gotta warm these up, whether that's you know my rotator cuffs, my triceps before bench. I use this thing almost every time I'm, uh, I'm about to either squat, bench, or deadlift. So, very, very useful. Next thing is, you know, we got knee sleeves. I typically have two pairs actually with me because just in case either one, I forget a pair at my house, I always try to bring backups of things I know I absolutely need. So, yeah, knee sleeves. Second pair of knee sleeves, I got some, uh, BFR bands, so if you guys don't know what these are, these are blood, the BFR stands for blood flow restriction. I've been using these on bicep days, so anytime I have biceps, usually around two or three times a week in my programs, and I have, you know, like an eight sets of 12 or eight sets of 10, and I'll use these because there is scientific studies that it does promote, you know, both vascularity and also muscle uh, building or muscle tissue building or whatever you want to call it. So I've been using them. I got hella stretch marks on my biceps, so I think they're working. I don't use them on triceps because I have so much tricep work in my, uh, my overall week of training. So I, I don't know what the recovery base of this compared to bicep training because I only hit biceps two times versus I'm benching almost five times a week. So I don't use these on triceps, only on biceps. They give you one hell of a pump though. Next thing is wrist wraps. I'm surprised I don't have my other pair of wrist wraps. I must have left them at home. But uh, yeah, I always bring wrist wraps. These are the stoic ones I've been liking. The next thing is a hip band, you know, uh, hip circle, whatever you want to call it. These are nice, helps uh, warm up both my glutes. I usually use it for a squats or, or deadlift. Don't really use them for bench. Uh, next thing is tape, just because you never know when you need to tape something, all right? Whether you just ripped your finger or something broke on your clothes or whatever, I always try to bring tape with me. You know, charging block, camera for uh, charging, never could be too careful. Lacrosse ball for rolling out. This I just actually got from my buddy Justin because I've been having a little bit of uh, irritation and pain in my lower back area, which could be due to multiple things. I'm kind of getting a synopsis um, done, but yeah, this has helped though. Gets that, uh, gets deep in that tissue. Okay, this, this next one's uh, my secret weapon right now for prepping for gnats. All right, so if you guys don't know what this is, I've had a lot of people ask me, what am I using in my training? What's this thing attached to my, my bench? What's this thing attached to my squat and, and deadlift? This is called a rep one, and it's a velocity reader. My buddy Justin's lent me this to use for my prep for Junior Nats. When he first bought it, I was like, dude, no offense, but I feel like that's a waste of money because it is a little on the expensive side, right? And I was giving him crap about it, but ever since I have been using it, I have been enjoying it. Whether that's worth the price tag, I don't know. We'll see when gnats come around. If I, if I hit some just giant PRs, you know what? Damn well, I will pay anything to get some giant PRs staying natural. So what is this? This basically records both your uh, speed of the rep. So let's use an example. Let's say on Monday, uh, my speed was 0.5 for my single, right? And then next Monday, I'm warming up. All my warm ups are actually faster than my previous warm ups. And then I get to my single of the same weight and it's 0.6, which is 0.1 faster. Then I know, hey, I can actually go up because it's like mathematically faster than it, than it is. You know, it's very hard to gauge with how it feels because you can't really go back in time to see how it feels on that Monday, you know? The only thing you do have is video. And even though video could be inaccurate when it comes to those like point percentages. So this makes it where it's a little more accurate. 
and the more accurate you can get in your training, I believe the more accurate you can progress. You know, I feel like powerlifting is definitely a numbers game of how much you sleep, eat, and recover. Recovery is the biggest thing, all right? The two other factors are what plays into recovery. So if you can recover and you can pinpoint, okay, these are the numbers I have to hit, this is how they're moving on a weekly basis, and you can keep that all in a fresh log of training, you're gonna be able to calculate your, your, your uh, progress. You know, It's not gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna progressive overload Tuesday, and then Tuesday comes, and guess what? It's just not going in your favor. This gives it a more accurate uh, description of how you're supposed to be training. Colleges have been using it for a while now, but you know, I'm gonna be trying it. I'll put this in the link description if you guys wanna purchase one. Not affiliated whatsoever, but if you guys want to buy stuff, all stuff is linked. Merch, Rise, this is the new Rise top by the way. It's amazing, tracksuit, it's quality. But onward, that is all I have in my, my gym bag, you know? The nice Rise gym bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, put a comment, see what you want to see next. We're about, I think five or four weeks out, I gotta, I'm not, 100% sure. We compete on March 30th, which is a Wednesday, I think. So I'm super excited. Training went amazing today, for the most part, you know. The, the, I'll put up some numbers right here, which is the week before and then today. And we did around like 682 or something for our single, and we did 727 today. And we hit it at the same velocity speed which is crazy to think about because of the pound difference. In only a week's time, body weight hasn't shifted. It actually might have been lower this week than it was previous, but we're getting more on a roll. There are other factors that could have played into that because we did have one less back down on squats this week compared to last week. But, you know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling really, really good on my, squat, uh, my, my deadlifts. They're feeling, they're feeling extra fast. If we can hit somewhere between a 770 deadlift, maybe 780, 790, 800, I don't know. I would be one happy mofo. But it's getting late. I gotta run back to my house, grab some food. You guys probably have to eat. I hope you're eating in this video. If you're not, pause the video, go make some food. It's towards the end, so you gotta make some food. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just realized I was wearing leggings and like this angle was like full on crotch mode, so I'm sorry. I should have lifted the camera up, but.